rings on my fingers, bells on my toes. <laughs> hey guys, it's Natalia. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Hi, um, how, how's everyone doing? Today I'm back with a brand new video. So today's video is one I do every single month. It's a monthly favourites. Today is my July favourites. I was going to say August then. No, honey, no, we're not in August yet. So yeah, today is my July favourites and I've not got many actually today and if you have not got with me, they're in the wash because clothes. Um, So it's going to be a really hard video because I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items but I've got nine to talk about. So anyway, I don't want this video to be way too long so let's get right into the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is makeup related things. Um, So the first one being this. This is the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter in the shade Radiant Cashmere. Wearing it today. Just a little bit blinding. I've actually been really into that really blinding highlight look recently. Um, I've actually not been into it as much um, over the past few months just because I don't know, I feel like it, the highlight kind of toned down a bit a lot in society. But I watched a YouTube video the other day and she, this girl, she was wearing this beautiful highlight and I was like, I want to get back on the trend. So it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to, just going to swatch it. It actually looks really dark, but I'm very pale and like, look at that. It looks really dark on the skin actually, but it's not like on my face, obviously. It doesn't leave one of them weird orange marks where you've put your highlighter. It's just a really nice glow. And if you like it a bit more natural, just blend it out. It's beautiful, like gorgeous. You can't really see it on my hand, but that's all I've used on my face. I've only used this highlighter, no others. I love this. You can get it in lots of different shades. Um, I've got the blue one as well, but not really into the blue one as much. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. The blue's actually really nice in a corner highlight when you got a really pa big party look or something like that. But this has been my favourite recently. And this is only £3. £3 for this. It's amazing. So the next makeup item is this. This is the Duo Strip Lash Adhesive in the dark tone. I've got this on today. I've been wearing eyelashes a lot recently and because of that, I needed some new eyelash glue because Primark glue just doesn't cut it. Um, so I went out and I was like, it's like £7. I was like, do I really want to spend £7 on eyelash glue? And then I was like, let's go for it. Let's see how it is. So I bought this for prom because I was like, I need them to stay on all night at prom, not risking it. So I bought this for prom and this is, honestly, I didn't know what the hype was at first. I applied it wrong on my prom lashes and they started coming off and... It wasn't a good situation, but after that, I've been reusing it and reusing it and reusing it. And now I've got the hang of it. I love it. Honestly, I get what all the rave is about now because these ain't coming off for a very long time. They stay on all day. They're hard to get off even when I peel them off. Like the Primark Lash Glue, you can just peel them off and it's fine. This is actually, you have to like tug a little bit to get it off. Sometimes it does hurt trying to get them off, but that means it's working. And the dark tone's really nice as well because it actually makes your eyelashes that you've got on look thicker because it looks like you've got eyeliner on. However, if you're not very good at applying lashes, unlike myself over here, I put some eyeliner on and put it over it and you've not got that white, grey, kind of slimy white, I don't know, the white one that's meant to be clear does not dry clear, it goes like a yellowy, whitey goo and this is so much better than it, however you need to learn to apply lashes before you get this, I'm okay at applying lashes when I've got eyeliner on but without eyeliner it's, it ain't a pretty situation, I get all bumpy and lumpy and all sorts, so if you're an eyeliner gal, buy some duo glue because in the dark tone because I promise you you will not regret it. Okay so for my last makeup favourite I have this. This is a BH Cosmetics number no. 3 brush and this is like a flat topped kabuki kind of thing. I use this to apply my foundation. Oh my god this is the best thing ever. I used to use this little tiny cheap brush and all the hairs were coming out and it wasn't, it wasn't good. It wasn't, I'm going to tell you that now, it wasn't good. By the way, how pretty is this, first of all? It's pink and then it's like purple and then it's pink again. And it's like chrome effect. I love this design. Um, 
you can kind of see the BH Cosmetics kind of thing there, you can't really. Um, but it's just a really dense brush and it's really soft and it leaves no streaks which is one of the main reasons why I love it. However, it is quite big for my face, so it's really hard getting in these bits here. I usually just take like a smaller brush and just kind of blend them bits out, but everywhere else, it's fine, it's amazing. I've been using this so much recently because I just love big flat top kabukis for applying foundation. I feel like the Beauty Blender, it sucks too much your foundation up. I'm not into it. I like a lot of my foundation on my face, not in my sponge or on my brush. And this, you can kind of see, if you open up the thing, it stays within this white band, it doesn't go any further down. So it's not eating all your product. Look, you can see it doesn't go any further down, which is amazing because you save so much product, which is also very good if you're cheap like, like me. Now I'm gonna show you a hair product that I've been really liking recently. And it's this, it's the Got To Be Oilicious with Argan Oil for Daily Use Tame and Shine Styling Oil. What I do, wash my hair, I dry it with a towel, kind of meh, flip it over and I put some of this on my hand, I rub it in like that and I claw through it as if I'm brushing my hair with that. Honestly, it's the best untangler you will ever find. Untangles your hair, great. Obviously after you've used conditioner, you please use conditioner, but when your hair's wet and it's like trying to get your hands through it, put a bit of that on, rub it all over your hands, go through your hair. Amazing, just don't put it near the roots. Usually I take like whatever's left and just go like this and do it right in the ends just so the ends don't look dry then. And I always have really soft ends and it's probably mainly that I'm guessing because I do use conditioner but it's probably that because it's amazing. It's not too expensive either, which usually a lot of hair oils are, but it's a really nice pump, really nice just quick easy i love this and look how much i've used i've had this so long and i've hardly used any because you literally need one squirt go every time you wash your hair so next i have this i don't know what category i'm going to put this in but it's the zoella wonder hand moisturizing hand cream honestly cut the bowl this is the best hand cream i've ever used love zoella love the smell of the products this is my favorite smell of products by the way um it's can't think of which smell it is. I literally have it in my drawer. I've gone through two bottles of it already and I've got a room diffuser over there in the same scent. Can you see a pattern? Really like this one. So it's just Zoella Beauty. It, you know Zoella is, let's be honest. And it... I've just got it all over my nose. Mmm, even better. Took half my nose makeup off. Not like I'm going out. Okay. Yeah, it smells amazing. Look how big it is as well. Like, it's not a little thing of hand cream, is it? And it's not one of them that, like, it's sticky on your hands for ages. You know when you, like, put hand cream on and then someone's like, Oh, can you go and do this for me? And it's like, um... It's not one of them. It, like, dries through instantly, but gives you that kind of, like, so they're not dry. So mine kind of feel dry at the minute, actually, but I can't put them. I've got rings on. Yeah, I just really like how it dries kind of instantly, but still makes your hands feel moisturised. Yeah, and that's my favourite smell. I do have the Christmas one from last year. Not my favourite smell, I'm not going to lie. I don't quite like that. Um, and I think, I don't know whether it's different. I don't. <laughs> I don't know whether it's different formulas or not because that one doesn't dry as fast. It's always kind of sticky a little bit. But this one, it, it dries down really fast. So, don't know about that, but love that hand cream. Next is actually a book. I know, Tal's been reading. I actually really like reading. Reading is one of my favourite things to do. It's a great relaxer I like to do it before bed. And the book that I read last week, it literally took me like three days to read it. I loved it that much, is this one. It's called The Treatment by C.L. Taylor. If you like mystery and excitement books, this is amazing. Honestly, my mum gave it me, she was like, oh, read this. Because I was like, I want to get back into reading. She was like, oh, read this. So listen to this. What's 16-year-old Drew Finch wants to be left alone. She's not interested in spending time with a mum and stepdad and when a disruptive brother Mason is expelled from school for the third time and sent to the residential reform academy, she's almost relieved. Everything changes when, she fo when she's followed home from school by the mysterious Dr. Colby who claims to have a message from Mason. There is something sinister about the treatment he's undergoing. The school is changing people. The time to help her brother, Drew must infiltrate the academy and unearth its deepest, darkest secrets. Before it's too late. Honestly, I looked at it, I was like, don't know whether I'm going to be into this. Because I'm one of them that likes quite young books like I love to read but I like young books like thick books but 
for young-minded children. So, but, well, not even children. Like, I like the Louise Pentland books and the Giovanna Fletcher ones and who's the other one? Carrie Hope Fletcher. I'm just really into books like that and this woman is amazing. I've got two more of her books over there. I've got, I'm reading The Lie currently, which is... Get, taking a bit to get into this one was instantly like um but that one's taking a bit to get into but i'm sure it's going to be fine but yes i've been loving this this month it's like my favorite book ever now if anyone asks me oh what's a good book i'll be like this one so the next um so the next few things i'm going to show you are items of clothing i only have one with me because the other two are currently in the wash so i'm just going to put pictures of what they look like so you can have a little nose here the first one is this this is a pretty little thing overdressed bright yellow t-shirt honestly it's just like an oversized t-shirt i got mine in a small it's just cotton material it's quite like cheap material i'm gonna say however because it is so big and it was so cheap i'm just gonna forgive it i think it was like seven pounds not sure about that but because it says overdressed it's just like <laughs> you're not overdressed honey like i literally wear it with cycling shorts or jeans or as a, or as a dress let's be honest it's that long um i just think the yellow color really suits my skin as well with my dark hair it's not really my skin it suits it's my dark hair dark hair and yellow really go well together if you didn't know um but yeah i really like that um i've been wearing that a lot recently and um, it's on my instagram it's just, I just wear it a lot, you know, just wear it a lot. So the next item of clothing I have is my Gymshark black leggings. I'm not sure what style they are, but I will find them. I've been going to the gym lately. Oh, gym lad, look at them. And I've been wearing these and they're so tight and compact and thick and I don't know, they're just really, obviously the Gymshark, they're like however much, like 32 pounds for a pair of leggings. Or maybe four. I think they might be forty pounds for a pair of leggings. It's expensive, so you're obviously expecting you're paying for the quality of the leggings and you're paying for the name. The name is Jim Shark, so a lot of people are like, oh yeah, Jim, like oh yeah, she she's knows what she's doing. I I really don't. I just really like them, how they fit. They look really nice. They make your bum look cute because they have that little underbum thing on them. Yeah really comes in handy for small bum girls like me. They're really nice. Um, if you really want some good quality leggings or gym sets head over to Gymshark because I promise you you will not be unhappy with the results. The last thing is also a thing from Pretty Little Thing. It is a blue and white striped dress. I'm not sure what it's called but it's like a little dress that you'd probably go down to breakfast in on holiday and I initially bought it for holiday, but I've been pairing it with a brown belt and it looks really, really cute. I've been really loving it lately. It's just cute to throw on, put the belt over and go because it's not that length where it's too short where you have to wear something underneath it, but it's not too long where it goes past your knees. Like it's kind of that length, um, but it's really nice. Like I've been loving it so much. I think that's everything. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please get a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Also comment down below what videos you would like in the future because I would really like to know uh yeah i kind of have a youtube planner now so i can plan in advance so any videos please tell me and i'll put it in the book um <laughs> make sure if you subscribe to hit the bell notification icon below because if you don't you won't be notified every time i upload a video which of course you want to be notified every time i upload a video of course you want to see my ugly mug every day it's not every day. Make sure to uh, watch my videos. I upload vlogs on Tuesdays and Sundays and videos on Wednesdays and Fridays. So make sure to look out for them. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.